What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today in a DaVinci Resolve 17 tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to take boring titles and make them look a lot better very quickly. Let's get into it. DaVinci Resolve has a bunch of built-in free titles that just come with the program. They're really good titles, they're really easy to just drag and drop, and you can customize them in the Edit tab. So it is really nice to have, but I wanna show you guys today how to take some of those okay titles, kind of boring, and spice them up to look a lot better. Let's jump inside DaVinci Resolve 17, and we'll get going. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how you can customize these texts that are already built inside DaVinci Resolve 17. It's really not that complicated. You are gonna to have to hop into Fusion, but I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step really quick how we're gonna do this. So the first thing we need to do is go to the effects library and make sure we're on titles under the toolbox. I am going to just grab this text box because I think it looks cool. I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna drop it in here inside my timeline. We can see it's a pretty cool text. They, it's you know one of the free ones that's already built into it, but we are gonna change it up a little bit. Let's say we want to make it be a subscribe kind of pop-up or something like that. What you would normally do is type in your title, go maybe to the color if you wanna change the text or underneath here you can change the color of the box around it uh, we're gonna do like a red or something like that I think that looks cool play that through see what that looks like it looks okay but I do want to spice it up a little bit more so we're gonna make the tracking just a little bit wider nothing too crazy uh, and that's basically all we can do right here inside the edit page this is just meant to be quick titles that you throw on top of your stuff but I want to add a little bit more so what we're gonna do is hover on top of it we're gonna go inside fusion once we're inside fusion we're gonna bring these over here and this where it's got a stack, this is where all the magic is in. So I'm gonna double click on it and you can see it's got a whole bunch of stuff already done to it. We can expand it and make it bigger. And I know a lot of you guys are thinking, I don't wanna mess with that because I have no clue what they even did to get it there, but we're not gonna mess with it too much. I'm just gonna highlight these three. I'm gonna move them over here. I'm going to copy these two by hitting Command C on a Mac, clicking off of it, hitting Command V to paste it. Uh, I am going to add a merge real quick. So right here, we're gonna add a merge. I'm gonna hold shift in the mouse at the same time to drop it in the tree. I'm gonna do the same thing with the merge and I'm gonna connect it to our box color. Let me flip this around so it's a little easier for you guys to see. And now you can see that nothing is different because it's literally right on top of itself. So the easiest way to do this is we're going to make it bigger. Uh, and I don't really want to go inside the box itself because you can see right here they've got all this animation and time put into it. I don't want to mess any of that up. Uh, we could invert it and you know make it be the opposite, but I, I don't really want to go for that. I like the style that it is. I just want to change it a little bit. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to add a transform node. We're going to do all our sizing in here. I'm going to hold shift and the mouse at the same time to bring it in the tree. And now if we're on the transform node, we can size this thing up do whatever we wanna to do to this, and it's not gonna mess up any of the animations. You can see if we hop back into the edit page, everything is still the same, it's just bigger, we have basically duplicated it. So to make it look like we didn't duplicate it and it'll look a lot better, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a few things. We're gonna hit the transform, we're actually going to um, rotate this real quick. So I'm gonna grab the angle and we're actually gonna do 180 degrees. So it's the exact same, but the difference is, is that our animation will be going the opposite direction, so it just looks better. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're actually going to size this down a little bit, and you can see that it's stretched in a weird way. So what we're gonna do to fix that is we're gonna unclick this use size and aspect, and in here we can mess with this stuff. So I wanna make it just a little bit wider, right about there, and then I'm gonna grab the Y, and we're gonna go right about there, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, now if we hop back into the edit page, you can see that they are the opposite and that looks really good. The only problem is, again, because we're messing with what was already made, is I can't go in here and change the color because it's gonna change the color of both. So what we can do is we can hop back inside Fusion, we can click on the box, actually we need the box color, uh, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it white so it'll be the opposite. That way it's kind of got you know two different colors going on. Uh, hop back into the edit page, play that through, and you can see it's just something a lot cooler. It's just got a little bit more spice added to it. It just makes it look like it wasn't just a drag and drop. And all we did is literally duplicate what was already done 
inverted it and changed the color. That's it. Sized it up a little bit and yeah, it went from something that's very normal, that is just this, to something that looks a lot cooler in my opinion and is just adding a little bit more of that special sauce on top of it. There you go guys, that's how you take boring titles inside DaVinci Resolve 17 and make them look a lot better. If you guys are new here, give me a thumbs up, uh, drop a comment below, let me know some other DaVinci Resolve 17 tutorials you might wanna see. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time, I'm the Iron Giant. Peace.